Hello. Over here in Texas. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if I'm gonna be making any more dirty trucking videos. I might make some when I'm when I get home. Uh, about the stuff they do out here that I already know of, but I'm sick of. I'm tired of the shit that goes on out here. These companies I sign up to, they start they little bullshit shortly after I get there, and then I end up leaving. This company, I don't even know why they even told me to come to this goddamn... Why would you have me come to this company if you wasn't going to do anything but start the same goddamn bullshit? I'm tired. Everywhere I go, it's the same problem. Motherfuckers want to talk to me about how I'm talking, you aggressive and all this, like we dating or something. Motherfucker, we not in no goddamn relationship. Don't try to establish a goddamn relationship out for me because it's not going to goddamn happen. I came here to drive a truck. Not to be in a fucking relationship. Not to be talking about being told you need to be nice to people and not talk and not be mean. When I ain't being mean and I have been nice. I don't like motherfuckers lying on me. And that's what they did at this company. See, I wasn't going to disclose the company name, but I am going to disclose the company name. The company I'm at is Risinger Brothers out of Morton, Illinois. I came to this company. They seemed like a nice company. They talked all nice. Until I started having to deal with a shop. This company is a company that takes the maintenance money from the drivers. This company has a maintenance account that is non-refundable. You sign on here, lease purchase, expect your money to be taken. And if you decide to leave or you quit, you're not getting it back. And they're using it to fix up their trucks. They made it seem like it was a good idea. It sounded like a good idea. They, they put it, they, they word it to you. The guy in orientation, he words it to you to make it sound like it's a damn good idea taking your motherfucking money and keeping it. He, he said, wouldn't you, like the, 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 wouldn't you like to know the fact that you have money to fix the truck? Oh, really? Yeah, you got all this maintenance money off of I don't know how many motherfucking drivers. I came in there the other day with a tire that had a buckle in it, a, 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 bu a bubble on the side in the sidewall. This guy gives me some bullshit ass story about it was a nail in the motherfucking uh, side of the tire that they had repaired. And they put a new tread on it. That's why I don't see the repair patch and all that shit. Bunch of bullshit. It was a bunch of bullshit. The motherfucker was lying. Any tire that has any kind of repair on that sidewall, they know. By law, you had to put a triangular patch on the side to notify so they can have an indication that that tire had some type of repair. Point blank. Now, this is the head mechanic telling me that. Now, the company is Rising and Brothers. Now, they, they trucks are decent. Now, if you decide to go there, that's on you. Expect your maintenance account to be gone. Uh, they lease terms seem to be kind of reasonable. It's reasonable. Uh, depending on what truck you pick. That's if you could actually stay there and finish to pay off the truck. But I'm not. I'm out. I'm not going to have a company starting that ass bullshit, that old ass kitchen shit, ass fucking shit right off the goddamn bat. You want me to bow down to you because I'm a female. I'm tired of the difference in treatment between these trucking companies because I'm a female coming in there saying the same goddamn thing a motherfucking man would demand if he came in there with the goddamn tire. Get the tire off. What's the problem with that? I don't want to hear you talking about I'm aggressive and all this shit. If you can't stand the sound of my voice, that's your motherfucking problem. I'm not going to change my voice for you. God gave me this voice for a reason. It was party so I could go off on your motherfucking ass for the bullshit you doing. That's why I got this goddamn voice. I'm the chosen one to tackle with your motherfucking ass. And evidently, you can't deal with it. The only way you can deal with it is threaten me. Tell me if we have any more problems with you. And I'm wondering what the fuck this bitch was talking about. If we have any more problems out of you. What problems have you been having? I brought that truck back there once because the bunk heater went out. Laid up on a cold truck. Until I figured out how to get this motherfucker to idle off of watching a YouTube video. Because this thing is set not to idle. It's not supposed to idle. But I figured a way to get it to idle. Only thing saved me that day. This truck was freezing. And then the motherfuckers didn't want to route me back to the terminal to get it fixed. But it was. Somebody had a bag or something on the side of the dam between the cabinet and that, the, the vent over there. And somehow the thing must have sucked in the bag. But I think that was a lie because the mechanic said it was a bag. I didn't see no bag back there. I saw a plastic bottle. But I did see some paper back there. 
So I don't know what the fuck happened. But anyway, I get routed back. He got it fixed. It was just something back there. So I looked behind the cabinet. It was a bunch of stuff back there. The way this cabinet made. Whoever had the truck before, it was napkins, paper, all that shit laying on the floor back there. So I reached back there. You could tell it was a man back there. Found a pocket knife on the floor. Then his uh clippers, the, the little black clip that goes on the clippers for his hair. It was a man that was on this damn truck. That's why the, that refrigerator was filthy as fuck. Had all kind of black shit all in the bottom. And I'm tired of these companies doing that shit. You get me here, give me a truck with some filthy, dirty ass shit on here like I'm your motherfucking maid and shit. And then I got to, you tell me you can't get it cleaned off of here. Then I'm forced to try to get it cleaned off of here. Now I clean the truck up. You start some old bullshit. Get me to turn in the truck for your other damn driver. I should, I should put this refrigerator back to the same status it was in when you gave me the motherfucking bitch. Had me clean this motherfucking bitch out. And then you talking about me? Oh, I tell you what. If you got a problem with me, I don't need to be here. And like I told him, I told him to change my goddamn motherfucking bitch ass dispatcher. That bitch talks to me like I got to do what the fuck she say. Like she my damn mama. She my authority. You're nobody to me but a fucking dispatcher. You don't tell me what the fuck to do when I'm lease purchased. And I'm tired of these companies signing me on with as lease purchase. And you trying to control me as motherfucking company. I'm not company. And matter of fact. I'm going to have a conversation with the IRS about what the fuck is going on here. Because you're the reason I can't stay in trucking. I can't run no damn business in trucking. I keep swapping trucks. Can't have no money. Don't have no money. Can't keep my bills paid. Because of shit you got going on like this. And I'm tired of it. Now, I guess they're going to say this is, she's aggressive. Yes, let me show you aggressive. This is aggressive talk. Because I'm tired of it. I will have that conversation with the IRS. I will file a report against you with the Better Business Bill about what the fuck you did. You hired me here and then been controlling me. Then you made up some fake ass shit talking about I'm a problem here. And I'm being aggressive asking the mechanic when can he get the truck in to get the tire off. And this motherfucker, his name, he sits over in the corner. I find out this motherfucker is the overseer of all the mechanics. He wants to intervene and tell me, well, if you be nice to people and stop being mean. And then I get the, the, the lady in orientation, her husband, he's the one responsible for changing my dispatcher. He wants to argue with me about why he not. And I told him, well, I'm not going to stay here then. You're not going to force me to stay with a, have a dispatcher dissing me, dis dispatcher me, that and told me she agrees with this mother, what the motherfucker said. Bitch, what? Oh, the only reason she agree, because she see, I'm not going to tolerate her telling me what the fuck she want me to do. Bitch, I ain't your bitch. I ain't your woman. I ain't nobody to you. You don't talk to me like I got to do something you say do when I'm lease purchase. If I say give me another load, I don't want to hear no blah, 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 blah from you in this goddamn company. Don't sign people on here doing that shit. But I'm not knocking the company. You might have a chance to make some money here. But I guarantee you, don't look forward to keeping your maintenance money. You're not going to get the maintenance money. And this is the way they explain it. We keep it to fix the trucks up. How would you like to have money? You have money, say, that's what lease purchase is supposed to do on their own. And save money to get the truck fixed while they're leasing the truck until they pay it off or whatever happened to it while they got it. That's what we're supposed to do. That's what makes us lease purchase in the eyes of the IRS. In the eyes of the IRS, you can't be controlling us like that. You can't be telling us where to go to get it fixed. You can't be controlling the maintenance account. And you damn ain't supposed to be taking the maintenance account. But they take the maintenance account here. It is non-refundable. That almost stopped me from coming here. But I was in a situation where I needed, I had to go. I'm about to lose my apartment. And I come here, and these motherfuckers start the same thing. And the problem I'm having is from the people that's overseeing the shop. They handling the maintenance account. So I know why the problem is occurred. They're all walking around there, looking at me, walking, looking at me, staring at me. All oh, strange and shit. All of them acting funny. Soon as you open doors, raining nothing but Caucasian people. There's nobody black in there at all. From the maintenance to orientation. Nobody at this place. But I'm not knocking it. There's nothing racist here. They were nice people when they brought me here. And then the guys started talking to me all... Oh, want to imply that I'm doing something wrong here. It's the men. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Then my dispatcher with her motherfucking ass. Uh, I got some questions. She's questionable her damn self. Talking to her. She talking just like the motherfucking men. I don't understand that goddamn shit. 
How in the fuck is you agreeing with him and you expect to think I'm going to keep you as my dispatcher? And then the guy act like he had a problem changing my damn dispatcher. See, that's why I don't like working in trucking. I don't like working for these people. These companies are pre predominantly ran by Caucasians, which is no problem with me. As long as you don't treat me funny, lie on me, and start setting up bullshit. So, that's what they're doing here. I'm out. I'm not here to be your bitch. I'm not here to be your bed mate. I'm not here to be in a relationship with you. I'm not married to you. I'm not here to be getting in a relationship with no married Caucasian man or any man. I came out here to start a business, which I can't do at this company. And I'm tired of trying because of these dealing with these people that's running these fleet companies. So I'm out. Rising the brothers, I'm out. Now, you don't like my attitude? Good. I'm gone. Because my driving skill ability don't need to be here. And matter of fact, this load I'm on is probably going to be late because you have a problem with me. So I have a problem delivering loads on time for you now. Have a nice day. You get your truck back Saturday.